Hi. Um, you know what they say? They say you mustn't bite off more than you can chew. Um, do you follow that piece of advice? Do you really think they are right? Because one might say, then what about pushing the limits? Well, there is only one way to find out. Let's put it to the test. Just one second. Now, you see this? It's, um, it's a delicious sandwich. I made it by myself. Two slices of uh, whole grain bread, three slices of tomato, two slices of dill pickle, mmm, yum, yum, and some lettuce, a slice of cheddar cheese, mayonnaise. What else you need to make a delicious sandwich? Okay, guys, now I'm gonna bite off more than I can chew. Hmm. The moment of truth. Hmm. Oh my God. I'm glad I'm alive. Guys, if you cannot choose something, don't swallow it. And if you try to swallow it without chewing, you'll be suffocated to death. Because the food will get stuck here and you won't be able to do anything. So, they are damn right. You mustn't bite off more than you can chew. And we use this as an expression when we are in similar situations. Listen to the conversation I had with Peter the other day. I'm like, hey Peter, you're running around like a chicken with its head cut off. He's like, man, I'm working. I'm working for three language schools. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. I'm preparing 3,000 students for Cambridge proficiency test this year. I'm like, don't you think you've bitten off more than you can chew? You look like a basket case. He was like, sorry man, I can't talk to you right now. I'm very late for my class. I'll call you later. I was like, oh, you had to go? Sure. Okay, see you later. And a few weeks later, I ran into Peter again and had this conversation. This time, he was very different. I'm like, Hey Peter, how you doing? How are you? You look like a million dollars. He's like, yeah man, I'm cool, I'm chilled out. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You quit at your job? He was like, no, I didn't. I was fired. I was caught dozing off in class. I was like, but Peter, you still have the other two schools, right? He was like, no, nope. they fired me as well. They said my performances were not good. I guess you were right when you asked me if I had bitten off more than I would have been able to chew. 
was like, well, Peter, look on the bright side. At least you learned your lesson. He was like, yeah, man, you must never, ever bite off more than you can chew. Guys, now you know what happens when you bite off more than you can chew. So don't bite off more than you can chew. Never. Ever. All right. Bye-bye.